There you go. Ah, David Subolo. We meet so, at last. Subolo. 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 <laughs> yeah. We meet at last. David Subolo, a.k.a. Gorilla Grodd from Justice League Action. And The Flash. Yes, I've noticed that. It is such an honor to finally meet you after all Oops. these months. Good to meet you, too. <laughs> yeah, it has been. I've waited months for this very moment to finally come. Are you attempting to play Grodd with your voice? Are you doing a Grodd actually, voice? Actually, I'm doing the Sullivar voice. Keith ah. David. Oh, good. Yes, he's great. Yeah, and you know whose voice I also do? Who, whose voice do you also do? Tony Todd. What the demon has corrupted, I will cleanse them with fire. You are, you are the child of fire, a part of me, and you will obey. It's a good one. Yeah, because, well, David, I have a lot of questions I wanted to ask you. All right, time. I have a lot of answers. The question is, how does it feel about being a voice actor in many shows? Well, I've been so lucky in my career to have such a, a great a variety of, of roles. I never know what I'm going to play week to week. It's been going on for quite a while. Uh, I sort of woke up one morning and I looked at my resume and well, after 30 years uh, of, of working, it's been so many different parts I've played. I've been so fortunate. I see. So, that, so that's what makes you a very good. And tell me, how does it, how does it get... I've had one simple thing I wanted to ask you. That, how did it feel about playing Kido in in One Piece? Oh, Kido was a great opportunity for me too, and we're just getting going with that. Yeah. Um, would you show me your, few episodes? Would you show me your voice of he's, that? He's very, he's very drunk all the time. Kido, angry. You know, he's, he's just kind of. He's just sort of staggering around, just always, always drinking, always just sort of creating mayhem wherever he goes. Yeah, that is very good, actually. That's why I've seen the one piece, you know, where mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of voice actors doing it. Like my friend Stephanie Young was was actually part of the show. Oh, great. And, and yet again, Patrick Sass was also part of that show, which I had to do his voice very well like this. <clears throat> It seems surprisingly the turn of the events. The key it is the one true source that I need in order to complete my goals and finally get myself in sense. That's great. Should you, um, have you ever thought of, of doing voice acting for a living? Actually, I'm actually taking a, a voice acting class, actually. That's great. Who are you studying with? I'm actually studying with a lot of great, great voice cast directors, such as David Rosenthal. Great. He's actually, well, I hope, he's a I hope cool keep, guy, actually. Yeah, I hope you keep learning and, and, and keep trying different voices and, and having fun with it. I, I actually am right now, because all I know is that, because some um, fun fact that I wanted you to know about me, but um, <clears throat> I have autism, you know? Mm -hmm. and, um, I have, I, some people call me special because of the way I am being all good and kind and wanting to make sure I achieve my goals as I plan. And, good for you. Uh, yeah. Remember that time I made a video for you about you being the character Lobo for the show called uh, DC Superhero Girls? Mm -hmm. Since, of course, you once repraised him in a lot of things, such as Young Justice and uh, Injustice Gods Among Us, and most importantly, Lego DC Supervillains. Yes, I've got to play Lobo quite a few times. Hopefully again someday. Yeah, because I really wanted you to be in DC Superhero Girls as that character. Because they, you will end up entertaining a lot of people. Because you'll be like, yes, I knew it would work. So on. Um, the main man, Lobo. Yeah. M well, main man, do you really think you can possibly take me down like this, Lobo? Yes, I could. Oh. Better get ready for a whooping. Oh, let's see if you have enough power to defeat me in battle. Because, <laughs> you know, I've actually heard you in that 
that movie that I've seen called uh, Blitzwing. Will in yeah, Bumblebee. the Bumblebee movie. Mm-hmm. How did it feel playing that character in that movie? That was a whole different experience because he had to be such a big character. You know, he was made specifically for a large screen theater. So that was a bigger than life character, almost more than I've ever done. Yeah, that is one simple thing. Because, you know, you also played a lot of Transformers characters, such as uh, Death Charge and, most importantly, Shockwave, which is one of the favorite villains of Transformers Prime, which yet again, Tony Todd and Frank Wilker, and most importantly, Steve Bloom was in it. Mm -hmm. He stood right next to me. Yeah, uh, they stood next to you. Yeah, we were acting the scenes together, live together. Uh, They don't do that much anymore. You know, because of the pandemic, we've all had to record separately now. Yeah, I certainly miss the the community. You know, I hope we can all get back together again someday. I know, but because once the cure is found, then only then will everything can finally be over, and everything can go back to the separate to what it was before. That would be nice. Yes, exactly, just like I planned. And you know, you know what I'm actually doing for you right now. Who are you doing for me right now? I'm doing a voice showcase for you about ah. about many voices that you have done for years to make everyone know about your voices, just like the rest of the voice actors who I made for them, including Ron Perlman, Keith David, Tony Todd, and many others. Well, you're certainly a very loyal fan, and I appreciate that. Not only am I a fan, but I am a... Because one... Because I'm actually going to become a voice actor. You are. That's great. Yes. Thanks to the voice acting class, the Global Voice Acting Academy, I knew this is my chance to finally prove myself as one. Because you know Always good to go for it. Because you know what I really wanted to do when I I become a voice actor? What do you really want to do? When I become a voice actor... I re- wanted to meet all those voice actors to let them know about, about my true desire finally getting what I need. And most importantly, well, we, mm-hmm. because you know who's the reason why I wanted to interview you and most importantly, Fred Tattashore and many others? Why is that? Who's that? His name is Chris Mayek. And mm-hmm. uh, he interviews like a lot of actors of anime and that, It makes me so jealous that I've been trying to work my ways to get in touch with a lot of people on Facebook and many other ways. Because for some voice actors comes epic failures, but for for most of them, I end up succeeding. That's why... You've been very persistent and you've gotten a lot of people that you've booked for these interviews. Yeah. You have Dave Fenoy coming up. Dave Fioni, of course. Dave, Dave Fenoy, he does some great stuff. It, it's on Friday. Yeah, good for you. Because he's he was so interested with my interviews that he wanted to meet me again since June. That's so great. We, because we're actually good friends, actually. Because Wonderful. Because all I know is that my... Because for many months, I have been interviewing like a lot of people Mm-hmm. And for Fred Tashor, he's a very cool dude, actually. And I've actually he seen is. and I've seen him in the recent shows, actually. Like uh like when he was in that movie called uh, Injustice, where he plays mm-hmm. Captain Autumn. And he was also in that in the recent show that just came out like one week ago, Arcarney, mm-hmm. Le- League of Legends. I yeah, do. yeah, he's he's really prolific. He works so much, and he's fantastic. He was in What If? He was yeah. playing Drax because he's got a very great Dave Bautista kind of voice. You know, he does a voice match for Dave Bautista, and I was in the same episode that he was in too, just doing some incidental voices. Yeah, because I recognize that because all I know is that that show is actually very good, and you being in it, I really wanted you to be in season two as a character. I've always wanted you to be known as. Which character did you want me to be known as? Tell me, does the, does the movie Black Widow mean something? Mm-hmm. You know, Tell me which character, yeah, just remind me. <laughs> well, let's, let's just say the boss himself, mm-hmm. the, the main bad guy, the one who, 
owns the the widow company, mm-hmm. you'll be like, so you really think you can possibly can can control my widows? Well, not for long. For you, mm-hmm. for you, my widow, you shall be brainwashed once again. Soon, I will have this world in my feet. Well, this is quite the showcase for you today. You've been doing so many different voices. Yeah, because all I know is that I practiced a lot of voices for years because I've waited for my chances to finally meet all those voice actors so that I can finally show them what I'm truly capable of. Well, that's great. Well, I'm glad you're getting that chance. Yeah. You know who, which other voice actors I'm getting to interview with this month? Who? Besides David Fioni, I'm interviewing mm-hmm. Michael Yorchak. Mm-hmm. And turns out he, he's a very cool guy, actually. Best known for being in anime shows, such as uh, like uh, Naruto Shippuden, where he plays mm-hmm. Obito Uchiha. And I've also won. And he also does in Sailor Moon, where he does, uh, does the character Hawksai. And does in a lot of great shows. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, Kaido is my first anime role in 26 years. <laughs> I haven't done anime in many, many years. I'm just getting back into it again. Yeah. Just like when, when Keith David got his first anime role, or should I say his first voice acting role as the character Mama in 3X, Three Eyes. Mm-hmm. With you know Keith. all of our resumes, don't you? I've seen a lot of things. Because I followed many voice actors for years. I wanted them to know about, about who I am and what are my true intentions. Well, I'm spilling it right here and now. Well, I'm glad you. a lot of us have been willing to talk to you. That's great. Because you know which voice actors I also wanted to get in touch with besides you? and who? Other? <sighs> There are so many. Like, <sighs> the most important one I wanted to get in touch with is Kari Walgren, the mm-hmm. one true person I wanted to get in touch with for months. We did a show together called um, Kaijudo about 10 oh. years ago. We had so much fun doing that. Very few people saw that. That oh. was on the Hub Network. Remember the Hub Network? I remember that, sh- that network. I'll never forget the moment I first saw you on TV where you voiced the character, the beast himself. Would you show me that voice so that I may... Well, are you talking about back in the 90s? I'm talking about the one... That, that show? Oh, that show, Kaijudo. Um, let's show see. Me. How did that voice go? Let's see. So, you can call me Bob. You talk like this very quietly. Oh. But then, he'd, but then he'd yell at you and he'd say, Speak! <laughs> you know, I, you know what, what video game I once heard you from? You, you once... You once did in Spawn Armageddon, where you played I love Malboja. that role. I love that role, Malboja. Show me your Malboja voice. Oh, I have to hear it to get the references. That was 20 years ago, almost. Yeah, you really think I am Malboja? Did he sound like that? Did he sound you, like that? Yes, you do. Was, was he down here like this? Oh, yes. You, you sounded perfectly like the character himself. That's great. Well, I would love that role. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, because you, your role as Malbosha sounded perfect. I thought, Thank you. I wish you, you played him in an animated stuff. I don't think very many people saw that. Yeah. You know, you know back in 2019, I once heard you in that, in that movie called Atla Battle Angel, where you yes, played... Alita. Alita Battle Angel, where mm-hmm. you play that character, the machine himself, Saratrium. Yes, the um, they were kind of police units, and it was a little bit like Robocop. Show me the, that voice of yours so that... So I that think he probably sounded like this. You know, do what so, I say. You know, sort of ordering people around. You must simply follow the orders of the police. Surround mm-hmm. him. And the centurions, they were called the centurions. The centurions, yeah. So, um, I have a c- question to ask you. Mm-hmm. But, uh, how exactly did you get the role of Gorilla Grodd? Well, funny thing, uh, someone heard me in a lobby of a studio and asked me to audition. And my understanding is that only maybe three or four people auditioned for it. 
I don't think they realized what a big party was going to be in the flash at first. Yeah. That is. Lucky, lucky situation for me. And who is this person who founded you and brought you for that role? Well, I don't want to say exactly, but people with the casting department had seen me, you know, but in that, in that a, lobby. I know about the casting roles because I followed like everything because I literally known everything for, for the mm-hmm. last few years. You've known why. everything, so you have a, a photographic memory? I've I've known a lot of photographic memories. That's why I've recognized your voices for the last few years, along with Fred Tattasaurs and uh, Corey Walgren's, Tony Todd's, Keith David's, and many others. Which... Well, great. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it so much. I'm glad we bring so much joy to you and to others. Yeah. And that's a yeah. wonderful thing. I find it at conventions. You know, we say we flap our lips in Burbank and you never dare know who hears us, but yeah. we really find out at the conventions. Of course. I've I've always wanted to enter a convention, but um, you never gone to any convention. No, because I live in in Florida, and mm, it it ends up in. Oh, there's Florida. a lot of conventions in Florida. You know, I think when the pandemic is a little bit eased, a little bit, a little bit more, they'll have more conventions in Florida because there's usually a lot in yeah. Florida and in Texas. I see that. That's why I I recognize all those stuff. You know. You know which website I was able to, I found it? I call which it one? Galaxy Con. Mm-hmm. Turns out I've used that website to, inter- mm-hmm. to wanted to interview a lot of people. Is that a, uh, a convention website? Yes, it is. And you know which, which voice actor I was able to interview with? Which one? Yuri Lowenthal. Mm. Yuri is a wonderful guy. We did a movie together once that I shot that he wrote, a little uh, little short movie, and he played someone who was like the last person who believed in God. It was an interesting movie. I, I see. I do his voice very well like this. Well, cer- certainly I can't, can't agree more with what, where it is you're saying. So, Doc Ock, what can you say something about what it is you're doing? I can't allow you to destroy the entire world like this. It's over. He does have a higher voice like that, yeah. Uh, he's, such, he's such a good voice actor. Yeah. Especially when it comes to him doing all sorts of stuff. Like when he... And you know what else? I tweeted a lot of posts about Yuri being the character Shazam for DC Superhero mm-hmm. Girls. And you know what happened? What happened? It came true. He finally- you, oh, you, uh, you wanted him to play that role, and then it came true. Yeah, I was like, I see. yes, it worked. And, <laughs> and, well, sometimes when you wish for things, they come true. You never know. Yeah, and you know what, what also came true? Which? What came true? You know about the character Tobias Whale? Mm-hmm. That oh. one came true for you. You were hoping for that? Because you know which one I wanted him to be played by? Who? Keith David, because mm-hmm. I wanted he... to, I wanted him to be playing him for DC Superhero Girls. Keith and I have sort of um, had parallel careers in a way, you know, in voiceover. Yeah. You know, he did the Arbiter in almost every Halo game, but I did the Arbiter once in Halo Wars. Yeah, that game was actually very good. With you and Keith David and Ron Perlman, we're in it. People I still like that game. Well, he was a different arbiter, I think. That's why they had me. Yeah. Doing. I do Ron Perlman's voice very well, like this. Well, and I feel the rest of it coming. I should have taken this hut to the ground, burn, burning this hut to the ground. I should have taken the amulet when I had the chance. Well, I'll prove him wrong. I will show them what I am truly capable of. That's great. Because he does a lot of voice acting roles, such as a. Uh, Justice from Afro Samurai and does a Destro from Teen Titans and does great roles, just like you did when you got auditioned for being Lobo and other yeah. voices. Yeah, I've, has Dave ever heard you do the voice that he does? Have you ever heard you voice match him? Who? Uh, um, Keith David, I meant. Keith David. Well, I never get to interview Keith David, but I really wanted to. Because you know who I'm interviewing next week, uh, next year? Who? 
next year I'm interviewing Tony Todd. Wow. Because I, 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 I called his ma- manager, you know, about wanting to interview him. Mm-hmm. And he told me by January, email him back so that call him back so that he may help me get to interview him. Cause, well, good. I hope you get to. Because you know what else? Tony Todd followed me on Twitter since he's been liking my Instagram, well, Twitter posts, actually, mm-hmm. representing himself. Plus, I made a, a video for him about his voice showcase, which he truly liked it, actually. That's great. I was like, wow, I can't believe he actually loved it because I made that video as a representation to his return as the Candyman. Because mm-hmm. it's like this. Tell everyone. Because he's a great voice actor since he'd done his in his recent shows such as uh, D.O.T. Dragon's Blood and most mm-hmm. importantly, Masters of the Universe Revolution. And I've heard like two months ago that he's getting the role of Venom for the Spider-Man game. Ah, oh, great. Here he is like, what's happening, folks? I am Oya Venom. That's great. That's a very good uh, imitation of him. Yeah, because Boy I practice a good his, Venom voice. I practice a lot of Tony Todd voices a lot. That mm-hmm. I showed it off to every voice actors, including Fred, and he was impressed actually. And he was like, "Whoa, you sounded exactly like Tony." And I said, "Well, yeah, I was making sure I practice all his voices. As far as I can tell, everyone sees it as an improvement." Now, I wouldn't say that, but you know, you don't want to. Um... Don't want to quite go that far, but I do know that you're really doing great voices. And the key to really good voice acting is to make sure that on top of the voice, you tell the story underneath. So always make sure that you're telling a story along with the voice, and then you'll do very well. Well, wow. that's a very good advice because all I know is that my voice acting class starts at like at a eight thirty, and mm-hmm. well, here in in Florida, you know. Mm-hmm. Yours is at four twenty-four right now, so mm-hmm. yeah, it's just it's it's very complicated for time. However, it is. I'm going to have to to go to another appointment soon. So, do you have some final questions for me? My final question is: wh- How were you able to get get into voice acting, and how did you become so successful with everything you've ever achieved? Well, I never gave up. You know, I started in the 90s, early 90s, and I was a French horn player, and I was a singer. I toured with acapella groups. And then an agent heard me doing plays. I did a lot of plays and and asked me to come and and play some villains. And I became very successful doing that, and people seemed to want to keep hiring me. So I just kept doing it, and it really was all about not giving up because sometimes there were years where there wasn't as much work. And in the last last 10 or so years, it's been very steady. But you never know as an actor if, if it's going to be a busy year or a light year. You just have to keep going and believe in yourself and, and just don't give up. I see. So that is the key of, of becoming the voice actor. By the way, I, I have two things. Before you go to your appointment, mm-hmm. I have two things I wanted to tell you. you you're friends with, uh, with Corey Walgren and... Uh, Neil Kaplan, right? We've worked together, yes. If you're friends with them on, on Facebook, I want you to do me one simple favor for me, if that's okay with you. Well, if you want me to get in touch with them, I have to ask you to do that, but I can certainly mention you to them if I see them. Yeah, I really wanted you to mention me to them, just to let them know about, about my interview with you, along with others that I've gotten in touch with for months. Well, yeah, I hope that you're able to keep interviewing people and and that you're having fun doing it and continuing to learn and be successful. Yeah. And by the way, one more thing. Mm -hmm. You know what this, you know why we're doing this Zoom meeting for? Why are we doing this Zoom meeting? This is for the fans. because Yes, it's always for the fans. For the YouTube. For my YouTube video, of course. So um, if you don't mind, would you mind showing? Tell the audience what you 
what you have to do in order to get in touch with you, if you please? Sure. Well, on social media, you reach me with my last name backwards, at Boloboss. And almost all social media has that as the handle. Uh, on Facebook, I'm not really sure. I think you just search for David Sobolov and you'll find me. I have two accounts there. I've asked them to merge them, but they won't. There's one that has a check mark and one that doesn't, but they're both me. And my yeah. website, of course, uh, Sobolov.com as well. Yes. And by the way, if you all, for the fans out there, if you, you have to see all of his shows that he is, he is in, including Young Justice and Guardians of the Galaxy, The Flash, Justice League Action, and many others. So if you don't mind, look up the website called BehindTheVoiceActors.com to look up all of his voices in order to learn about what kind of roles he actually has in mind. Or look up an IMDb for it. All right. Well, have a great day. Thanks for interviewing me. And, um, oh, and, and one more thing. Mm -hmm. Remember that post the other day that I made for you about Justice League heroes? Yes, you, you've, you've made a lot of posts about, about us. Yes, I remember that. I post that video to gain everybody's attention to me, just mm -hmm. to make sure everyone knows about the game as much as I do. Well, it's a great memory because it was a long time ago. It's nice that you remember that. It was another, another great experience. Would you show me off the dark side voice before we do this? Let's see. Can you give me a line that he would say? Because uh, I don't remember I have, that. I, have, I will turn this planet into a world of fire. I am dark side, ruler of apocalypse, and I shall have this world under my feet. I won't remember all that, so I'll, I'll do the last part. Um, what is it? I am Dark Side, ruler of what is it? I am Dark Side, dark side. ruler of apocalypse. Okay. And I swore yes. by my oath, I will have the universe and turn this entire world into a hairy pit of hell. <laughs> I will turn this world into a hairy pit of hell. <laughs> yes, that's the point. That's what I love about your voice acting. You are such an awesome voice actor a lot. That's why you, you so will much. always be my favorite voice actor. Because you know well, what thank I would you so do? much. You know what I would do if I ever make my own show? What will you do? I will definitely cast you into my own show to be a That'd villain, be of course, as a character named Oronos. Oronos. The He's like the celestial, the first being in the universe, along with Gaia, of the myths of the of the Olympians, Cronus, Cronus's f father, grandfather of Zeus. Ah, well, that sounds like a great role. I look forward to that. Yeah, because when when I finally get into into the studios, I will definitely cast you into it, and that's my it. oath. That's my I appreciate oath. it. I swore to myself. All right. Well, have a wonderful day. It was good talking to you. It's and I'll see you online. I'll see you too, my friend. And I hope we meet again in, in of course, in Instagram, Facebook, and in Twitter, which, of course, you're doing the Instagram live thing on, on Saturday. Yes, Instagram live this Saturday at 3 o'clock. I'll be yes. doing some signings for people. <laughs> I just hope you, I, I see you there. We'll see you so, there. <laughs> you, well, then. Then I'll then we'll meet each other again through messages and other stuff. However, sounds am I right? Great. Yes, great. sounds good. Great. All right. Take care. You too. And tell the voice actors I said hello. I will. Thank you. And Thank we'll you. Bye now. Bye. Hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye. You too. Bye. <laughs>